Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. So here we're going to create a dark mode switch for Google Maps. In this tutorial, we're going to cover if you're not familiar with Google Map API, so implementing a map onto your page. We're going to be utilizing Bootstrap and CSS data attributes to actually apply some styling when we switch to dark mode. And obviously that's going to be powered by JavaScript. For your convenience, I've left a timestamp index in the comments section so that you can navigate to parts of the tutorial that you're interested in. Please, if you like the content, please subscribe for more content coming soon. So this is what we're building. This is going to be a navigation bar at the top here. Then we've got obviously Google Maps and we've got a little switch here so we can switch between light and dark. Before you start the tutorial, you are going to need your own API key for Google Maps. So if you don't already have one, then just head over to Google Maps API in Google and get an API key. So here you just need to get started, your login, and then eventually you'll generate a new API key for your map. So you'll need this in your code in order to actually display the map in your page. We are using Bootstrap here, so I head over to Bootstrap, go to documentation, and I'm just going to copy this started template, to which then I apply directly onto my new page, which I've called dark mode HTML. So we want our map to be displayed 100% of the width and the height of the page. So this code here taken from the Google API documentation, we set up a hashtag map, which identifies an ID that we're going to apply a style to. And then in the head section here, I've applied this style. Now you can put this on a separate style page if you like. And you can see here we're having a height of 100% and we're setting the HTML um, page in the body to 100% and just removing the margin and any padding. So next up, we need a placement for the actual map. So the map is going to appear within this div. Um, you'll notice that we have ID map here and that refers to the style that we created here, so height 100. So the map will appear on your page 100% of the height and width of the page. So these are the basic elements we need to actually create and display an image onto your page. So first of all, uh, the code taken from Google API, we set up a variable here uh, called map. And then we also create a function, which is just called init map. And then the next up, we then get the map and store the information inside the new variable. And notice that we also output the map to get element by ID map. So we're putting the information about the map inside of this div here. So we also then need to define where in the world we want to display or where we want the map to display. So here we use the latitude and longitude information. So this information here, you could just type in any place in the world into Google and type in what's the longitude and latitude of it, and it will give you the information. So here, um, this is the latitude and longitude of somewhere in India. So then we can define the zoom level. So how far in the map you want to be zoomed or how far out of the map you want to be zoomed. And we can have a look at that variable in a minute, but it just is the zoom level of the map. Okay, so with that in place, that's literally all you need to show a map on your page. In fact, the last thing that you need is to actually hook into the Google API. So here I have a script which you can access uh, from the Google API and notice it says key equals. So earlier I said you'll need an API key in order for this to work. That's where, where the Z's are, that's where you need to put your key. Without that key, this um, map will not show on your page. So I type in my key and then I refresh the page and this is what I can see. So this is level, was it level eight? Um, zoom. So if I just change the zoom level to two, for example, that's level two zoom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the zoom level was just referring to how much or how far you want to zoom into the map. So now we've got the basic concepts out the way, we can now display a map on the screen and also control it. Um, so now let's create the dark mode switch. So if you remember earlier, I linked into Bootstrap into the CSS because we're making a 
or we took the code from the CSS Bootstrap template. So I'm going to create a simple navigation bar. So I'm using the Bootstrap code. Uh, if you go over to Bootstrap into the documentation, you'll see examples of a navigation bar. So we're going to build the navigation bar. So these are classes are for Bootstrap. I won't explain everyone, but we're making a um, Bootstrap navigation bar here. Um, so we start off with the nav brand and then I create a nice little logo for that. And then I have the button. So that button is going to appear when you scale the page. So now we have the actual links in the navigation bar. So the URLs, uh, unordered list, and then we have a nav items. So I just have one nav item on the left hand side of my navigation bar. And then outside of the URLs, I then put another div. So on the right hand side, the custom switch will appear. So here we have an input. So this is the input for a, um, a switch. Now this all, all of this code here is from Bootstrap. So you can head over to the Bootstrap documentation and look this up. But here we're just building a simple Bootstrap switch. And mine's called dark mode toggle. So with that in place, if we now go back into the page, we should have now a nice little navigation bar and a nice switch. And you can change all these different parameters. If you go again into Bootstrap, you can change the, the type of the switch and so on. So obviously what we need to do now is to set up a little bit of JavaScript so that when we toggle the switch, the map turns into dark mode. And as an additional function, we're going to change the actual um, navigation bar to dark mode too. So first of all, if I just look at my label, um, this is for the, the toggle switch. Notice that the, um, the ID is going to be a custom switch one. So that's what I want to bind my JavaScript to. So below the function for creating the map, um, I created a new um, piece of JavaScript here. So document.getElementById, and that's the ID of the custom switch. And then I add an, an, add, an add event listener so that when the switch changes, this function um, now begins or this function is initiated. So the next part is something that you can change, but how I've set this up is I've created a switch here so that um, when we're in dark mode, um, it's going to run two things. Um, so first of all, we're going to set the attribute of the body um, to data theme equals dark. So I'll explain that in a second. And then also we're going to run this function called dark. So that's going to include all the stylistic um, styles that we're going to need to change Google Maps. Then on the other end of the switch, um, when the dark mode is off, then it's just going to run then the init map again, and then just change it back to um, how we were to begin with. And also I'm going to remove the attribute from the body, the data theme. So back in the top of my page, I've added three um, CSS data attributes. And you'll notice that when we include the data theme dark in the body, it essentially means that this piece of code is now going to be utilized. So it means that now the nav bar is going to be turned into black or dark. The nav link, again, this is a bootstrap class, is going to change. The color of the text is going to change to whitish. And also the control label is going to turn white. So here, like I said, we're using CSS data attributes and we're defining that by actually uh, applying or we're applying the, if we go back into the JavaScript down here, we're adding this attribute called data theme equals dark into the body when we flick the switch in dark mode. And like I said, that's going to initiate um, these uh, data attributes here. So let's just try this first. So back in my browser, if I now switch, flick the switch, uh, my navigation bar now goes uh, from light to dark. And notice that the page refresh when I go back because I'm calling that function again. So this um, map just refreshes back. So if I zoom out and I go to dark mode and back again, it just refreshes to default. Obviously you can change that if you want to. Okay, so styling the actual map there is literally hundreds of options available. So if you go back into your uh, Maps JavaScript API, 
web page, here on the left hand side we've got styling and map and start styling map and you'll notice they do have different um, templates available and you can utilize a tool here where you can change and get it to how it look how you want. We're going to just utilize this style here that's already been utilized uh, to create this dark mode. So back down into our JavaScript, notice this switch here. We have, um, when we move into dark mode, I initiate a new function called dark. So what we need to do now is build this new function and then apply a style. So then it applies this style in dark mode to the map. So here's my new function, I call it dark. And we've got some options here and this is styles. So this information here, or this is required for Google Maps. And notice that when we want to change, um, as of now, um, this video being created, this is the way to actually apply the uh, new options to the map. Um, so just be careful to make sure that if you wa are watching this video a couple of years after it was made, this might have changed or some of these other variables might have changed. So what we need to do now is to apply our style inside of the style area. So I've utilized the style that you saw um, on Google maps API page and you can see here we're adding styles or different colors to different elements of the map. Now um, you can definitely drill down and have a look at all the different options um, but there's plenty of them so that's going to apply the dark mode we're just adding a new style but like I said it's important that to use map.set options uh, as of 2020 in order to actually make these changes. So now when we go over to the web page and I flick the switch, we're now in dark mode. 